Hey team, Joe Azu here. Hey, this video, uh, I'm taking an existing database that was written in Crimson 3.1 for, I believe, a small 4-inch HMI, and I'm testing it on a DA70. So I did the file open in Crimson 3.2. If you do this, file open, and you can search for your file. Anyway, I brought it in, and I went ahead and downloaded it to the unit, and I noticed the, the web page is all... Uh, messy if you will so i went back to crimson and i noticed on the display page on the left it didn't look but you can see that the page here in the da70 is really small so i'm going to show you a way to fix this if i go over to the left and go to device configuration on the left and way up on top here if you click on general settings uh, as you import a uh, program the page format might switch back to whatever like this case it was a four inch screen well by going to general settings here pull down i can make the resolution of the display page a lot bigger so maybe i'll do uh 800 by 600 so when you do that you see in the lower right hand corner you get the hardware thing you click on that that takes you to the hardware which is right above here i'm going to commit the changes which will cause crimson to recompile now if i go back to here to display page i'll make that a little bigger yet let me do one more thing here I think the other fields need to be updated, but let me try this here. So now if I go back to display pages, you can see these two boxes, apparently, regardless of what I was doing, need to be a little bigger. So let me fix that right now. We'll do this here. Boom. There we go. We'll align that with the left of that guy. And then this is just the IP address. So we'll do that. Okay. So uh, I'm going to try this out. I'll save it. And I go ahead and hit the lightning bolt just before I download. I just want you to see here's what it currently looks like here on the web page. And if I go back to Crimson here, click in the background here somewhere, get back to that right there. Let me go ahead and hit the lightning bolt. We'll download to it. Okay. Let's go back to our web page and see what happens here. I might have to refresh this, but we'll find out here in a second. Or maybe not. Let me hit the back arrow here. Let me reload, refresh this. Now let me hit remote view. Let's see if it fixes it. Well, that's fascinating. Absolutely fascinating, isn't it? Uh, reload again. Okay. You know, what's weird is right here, you can see that it really didn't reload that, I don't think. So let me try something else here. <laughs> let me copy. I can reload again. I'm not convinced that's actually working. Let me open up Edge here, a different browser, for instance. Let's try this one. I mean, I don't know. You know me, I'm... Oh, why can't I get this mouse to make it bigger? Okay. Let's try this again. Let's go here. We'll reload here with this guy. Remote view. Oh, I give up. Okay. Then let's go back to Crimson here. Um, uh, that's correct. Let me go back to what I was doing here. Let me go back to 800 by 600 here. Okay. So there it is. I'll save it. Let me draw along this. I don't know what it is. Okay. Reload here. It's just fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Refresh again. Oh boy. Okay. Let me. Uh... Wow. Let's try this with a new session, maybe. Okay, I'm going to cycle power to my Flex Edge. Um, I don't know. Let me just turn it off here. Turn it back on. I'm waiting for the light to come up here. Uh, da -da, it's turning blue. It's blink blue. Four blue and solid green. Four blinks of green. Let's see if it gets solid green. And now it's white. And solid green, so we'll reload here. Let's look. All right, there it fixed. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, <laughs> my idea was it would work right away, but apparently it's cycle power to it because uh, it looked like the web page. Uh, I couldn't get to refresh correctly. So anyway, uh, my videos are always real. <laughs> so. 
you just witnessed me making that uh, a little bigger. So now I'm going to continue my test. But the purpose of this video was to show you, uh, in theory, how you can use the general settings here and change the size of your display page. Anyway, hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day. We'll see you later.